Hi folks, welcome to the 2008-2009 general music class. I'm Mr. Gilliard. I am the instructor here at Thomas Johnson Middle School. I um, want to run through a few things real quick just to let you know basically what the class is about. Reading from the course syllabus, the general music program is a nine-week course designed to provide students with exposure to the basic elements of music theory and notation, develop a sensitivity to different genres of music, and obtain knowledge of different aspects of music history. So in a nutshell, I'm going to teach your kids how to read and write while they're inside of the course. I am also going to introduce them to different genres of music outside of the usual five to nine year block of music they listen to uh, in their age range, either back or further back. And also to um, examine different aspects of music history. There's a lot more music that happened before 2000, before 1990, and I want to dig into some of that stuff. Um, course objectives are real simple. By the end of the quarter, students will explore music of, diff of different time periods, learn to play a musical instrument, that musical instrument will be the recorder, uh, complete a biographical presentation on a famous person in music history prior to 1990, and learn to read and notate the basic elements of written music. Um, the instrument that they'll be playing, as I said, is the recorder. The recorder is, is a simple flute. If you look at some of the other videos on here, back when I had hair, <laughs> you'll see some of the, um, you'll see a couple of the recorder videos and everything, and exactly why we'll be purchasing and so on and so forth. The cost on the recorders is approximately five dollars. Uh, Next up, I want to talk about grading. What are your kids graded on day by day when they come in here? Um, Grading scale is the normal one that you already know. 90 to 100 is A, 80 to 89 is B, 70 to 79 is C, 60 to 69 is a D, and 59 or below is, hmm, we won't talk about that. It's called failure. Yes, um, grading procedures and expectations. Um, this year's grading policy has been broken down into three basic categories. The first one is classwork. Daily attendance, conduct, participation. This includes active class participation and work habits daily. Group interaction, group projects, and coming to class prepared with supplies and materials. For part of your time in the class, or for part of your child's time in the class, they'll be playing the recorder. If they come to class without the recorder, they will not be able to participate and they will not be able to receive a full grade for that day. So after we purchase recorders, it is incumbent upon your child to come to class prepared every single day. You will need a pencil for this class. You will need a pencil for this class. A pencil. A pen is not a pencil. An erasable pen is not a pencil. You will need a pencil for this class. It's a music class. You erase things after you write them down on the staff that you mess up. You will need a pencil so you can erase cleanly and rewrite cleanly. Um, that's 50% of your grade, classwork, 50% of your grade. So 50% of what you get every quarter is based on what you do while you're inside of this classroom. I'm sorry, I'm looking over here as if you can actually see my classroom. Um, quizzes, exams, written critiques, oral presentations. This includes all playing tests, homework, and projects. That's 30% of your grade all playing tests. So after you've had the recorder for about two, three weeks, I'm going to start giving you exams based on what you should know inside of your recorder packet that I give out to you. Written work, vocabulary and warm-ups. Every day that your child comes into class, uh, starting usually at the second or third class, there'll be a warm-up right here on the board that your, that your uh, child will be required to do. It'll take up the first five minutes of class. Well, really about the first seven. It'll involve listening to a piece of music, much like Miles Davis's Milestones is playing in the background right now and writing down what they hear, what the music re um, reminds them of. It's music analysis and music critique. And that counts for 20% of their quarterly grade. <laughs> They'll learn music terms while they're in here as well. That'll be vocabulary, quote unquote. They'll learn music terms like vivace, which means lively or very quickly. They'll learn things like Allegro, which means fast. They'll learn things like Largo, which means very slow. Not just a school over in Prince George's County, Maryland. Uh, what happens in the class? Classroom activities, you're playing recorder, you're doing in-group activities, you're doing music-related activities as far as writing, or you may be watching a music-related instructional video that you'll be taking notes on and writing up a summary on afterward. You'll also be playing recorder. Students lose points 
for inappropriate behaviors such as chewing gum, eating, drinking, talking, horseplay, or anything else that disrupts the learning environment. Please understand, you are here to learn. As you are here to learn, you are not free to simply come into class and think that this is talk time or joke time. Okay. Uh, each student, of course, will give one written and oral presentation at the end of the quarter. And extra credit work will be given at random. Now, over here on the second page real quick, I'll be filling you in. Your instrument is the recorder. Recorder is a simple flute. It's required for the class. You will not pass the course without purchasing this instrument because you're going to use it the majority of days that you're in the class. So if you don't have it, you can't get a classwork grade for the day. You'll get, well, you'll get a grade, but it'll be a zero. You don't want that, otherwise you'll fail. Recorder is going to cost you five dollars. My suggestion is you go to, my suggestion is either you give me the money and I can go and pick it up, or you can also purchase a recorder from Music and Arts over in Bowie Town Center. Um, all of the information is located on the syllabus on mis the site at mrgilliardmusic.com. Go on on there, download it, take a look at it, and you'll see it. All right. Um, missed work, missed days, and failing grades. We will have new material taught in class every period. If Mr. Gilliard is absent, <laughs> yeah, if I'm absent, substitute work will count as a test grade. So it's going to impact you much more heavy than simply missing a classwork day. If you miss a day, you miss new material. Makeup work must be requested by the student or parent for all lawful absences. Now, I please invite every parent to go to the Prince George's County Public Schools website, type in 5121.2. You'll be brought to a search agent page that says Board Docs Agenda Item uh, Grading Policy 51 uh, 5.02, and it'll have Revised Grading Policy for Grading and Reporting. It's 5121.2. Click on that and download the document and read through it so you can understand how your child is being graded and what your child is expected to do and not expected to do as well as what you are a you as a parent are responsible for doing as well. Um, work will be provided within 48 hours of the request. A note from a parent with all contact information, all contact information must be, re must be provided from the request before written work will be assigned. The number of days a student has to make up missed work is equivalent to the number of days that they miss. So they miss one day, they give me a request that they need the work, I give them the work, they have one day to turn it back in. If makeup work is passed in beyond this time period, the student will receive a grade of 50 five, zero, for the assignment. Per PGCPS Board Policy 5121.2, Section 4, Subsection Z, I mean, subsection G, subsection 1. It's not Mr. Gilliard's responsibility to track you down if you miss work and if you miss class. It is your responsibility to track me down and get the work that you missed. You're responsible for your own education. You're responsible, ultimately, for your learning because no one can put the information to your brain and make it morph into your head. You have to take the time and study it and learn it, process it, and do it correctly. It's called personal responsibility. All right. My classroom rules are real simple. Come to class on time and quietly, take your seat, get ready to work. Real easy, because now everyone's being escorted everywhere, so coming to class late is an issue for past years, not this year. Come to class prepared to work, bring your own supplies. As I mentioned earlier, you will need a pencil for this class. A pen is not a pencil. You will need a pencil for this class. A pen is not a pencil. Let me emphasize that one more time, because some people are like, well, I got a pen. A pen is not a pencil. You need a pencil for this class. Bring some paper. You will do some writing. I will provide staff paper for you. That's the music paper that you use to write down music on. So that's not even a problem. Be courteous, respectful, and considerate. Treat others the way you would like them to treat you. If you bump into somebody, say excuse me. You knock somebody's books over, say my bad, and pick it up. Finally, Follow instructions the first time they're given. Off-task behaviors in my class and disobedience result in a reduction of your classwork grade for the day. I start off taking 30 points off per incident. After you've been warned, if it becomes a persistent disobedience problem and a phone call home doesn't change anything, I will refer you to an administrator for some sort of disciplinary action there. 
whether it be in-school suspension, actual suspension, or something a little bit beyond that. But you're going to do what you're supposed to do as far as your behavior and doing your work, and I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do, which is provide you with the best music experience you've ever had from a general music teacher. And that is the end of this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at carry.gilliard at pgcps.org. The address is now floating down. Org. Visit MrGilliardMusic.com or this channel, YouTube.com forward slash MrGilliardMusic to get more information. And that's it. Peace and practice.